welcome back to my film and TV channel. We're going over to Netflix again today for a Polish a Polish drama. Yes, uh, it could have been easily been a mini series this, but uh, we ended up with the 140 minute film, which was it was fine. Yeah, it was fine. As I said, I wouldn't mind a little mini series, three or four episodes uh, for this one. I want to look at something that's in Polish that's called Znako, Z N A C H O R. Or transferred into English, we're going to call it Forgotten Love. Please, if you're new to the channel, do you remember that? If you're new to the channel, please push that subscribe button, push the bell notification, everything film and TV, of course. Great to have your views as well. It's not just all about me. Let me know what you think of this film or anything to do with film and TV. And we try and do these reviews, information, vlogs, lots of different things. So jump on board, spread the word if you can, guys. Much appreciated. And if you do have a little split second to push that like button, that little thumbs up button, um, very much appreciate uh, it. Yes, uh, yes, get my words out. We find 140 minutes, as I said, a romantic drama. This, so it's a family drama uh, with a romance. Yes, it is. And it's, uh, hmm, yeah, ups and downs. You expected any romantic drama. It was directed by Michael Gadza. And the screenplay was written based on the novel by, I'll try and get this right, if I can, Tadeusz Daliga Mostovic, written in 1937. There you go, yes, even I wasn't around then, so don't don't start saying I've, I probably saw the original or read the book. Uh, it's the third adaptation of the book, apparently. The first was actually made in 1937, called The Quack. That's a good title, I like that. Directed by Michael Wood Slisky. The second was shot shot uh, in the year 1981. This shot, this film was all shot in Poland, so that's good. Uh, a lot of good uh, scene, a lot of good scenes, sets, uh, nice to look at, uh, visually attractive. And what's it about? Well, it's about a respected surgeon, Professor Raphael Wilkser, who, abandoned by his wife, falls victim to a mugging and, as a result of his injuries, loses his memory. Years later, poor and still suffering from amnesia, he meets his daughter. It's a touching story, this is their words, not mine, about love that overcomes all obstacles and makes people destined for each other find their way to one another. Oh, bless. I mean, 1937, it's based on it's probably... All roses and light in those days, probably not. Internet Movie Database, the score on there, very, very good. It's actually increased over the last couple of days since I started put this down to watch it. Uh, we're getting a, a very, very good score, which I believe, <coughs> excuse me, will probably stay about this. I think it's gonna. It's currently at 7.6 out of 10. That's based on 919 scores and reviews left. So as I said, I think that's uh, pretty much set in stone as we get more and more reviews on this one. So that brings us to my little thoughts, guys, before we go. Uh, I'm not quite as high as that. I'm not going to go quite as high as 7.6 out of 10. But I do like the story. It doesn't try to be too clever, as some are in these days. Uh, just good family drama, not overly complicated in its setting out. You don't get any complicated flashbacks and forward flashes and God knows what we get all in these days in these sort of films. And it does, as I said, have a feel of a series about it. The dubbing, I watched it in the dub, the dub version, is very, very good. Um, you can, again, if you do have time to watch it in its original language with subtitles, I always recommend that. Anyway, it's only for a matter of convenience that I do tend to watch uh, these films dubbed. And it's a, a great little, if you're, if you're a fan of period drama, it's just a, a good little addition to that genre. Uh, I have no idea, I mean, there is some criticism that I've spotted when I've been looking at some of the reviews. I have no idea about the originals and comparisons uh, that can be made uh, both uh, with, with those. I mean, there have been some that I've seen, both good and bad, mainly good, so that's okay. Uh, of course, comparisons with the 81 film and the original 1937 book. And there's no doubt uh, the 1937 book has been updated and altered to suit a more modern audience. Mod modern audience. The original story has been adapted and slightly tweaked for a modern audience. But as a, a standalone offering in 2023 on the 1st of October, as when I'm recording this, it mostly worked for me and I, I enjoyed it. It's a romantic drama that I, I would thoroughly recommend for a, a good afternoon watch uh, or, as I say, a good, a good weekend uh, watch, watch with the one, you know, with you. With your family or um, obviously your your closest, nearest and dearest. It's just a, a nice uh, romantic drama. 
And as you'd expect, uh, there's good and bad bits in it. You know, there's bits that make you go, oh no, come on, come on. And there's obviously good good, good things happening in it as well, just to, to, to cheer you up, to make it all worthwhile uh, watching the film. So, uh, yeah, I liked it. If I had to score it, my scores would be fresh for Rotten Tomatoes. There's no doubt about that. Positive for Metacritic, again, no doubt. And I'm going to give it, as I said, I won't be as high as a 7.6 out of 10, but I'm going to give this... Uh, a very very healthy 6.5 out of 10 and uh, recommend it uh, for people who like period drama as I say it's uh, no bells and whistles with this one quite simple old old fashioned if you like it it reminds me of just an old fashioned family drama period drama that was put out in the, in the 80s 80s 90s you know it's just a simple story A to Z it gets on with it and uh, there's a start and a finish and that's that's what we like that's what I like anyway about uh, drama thanks for watching guys let me know what you think great to hear from you so we meet again that's one thing don't worry. please stay safe everyone bye for now